Are you looking for a hearty vegetarian main course to serve tonight at the holidays or anytime? I have a really great one for you. It's a stuffed acorn squash that's filled with rice and mushrooms and it's really aromatic and delicious. And I would say that it's fancy enough to serve to company even at the holidays if you'd like. What do you think about that? I'm just gonna clean my mushrooms first. You can actually wash them, but my preference is brushing off all the excess dirt with a paper towel. I have two acorn squash. These are kind of big, so normally I would say that this recipe serves four, but because these are so big, it might even serve six. Cut your squash in half, scoop out the seeds. There's a little bit of extra fibers in there I wanna make sure I get out so they're nice and clean. You know, you can roast those seeds and eat them if you like as a little snack. That's a fun thing. We have some recipes online for spiced pumpkin seeds. You can use the acorn squash seeds too, I bet. I mean, I've never done it. Why not, I wonder? So drizzle these with a little bit of olive oil. Not too much, just about two teaspoons of oil. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt because I like to season along the way. Turn them cut side down and then cover them tightly with aluminum foil. So you're gonna pre-cook these by roasting them at 450 till they're tender. That should take about 40 minutes. All right, while we're waiting, I will dice my onion. One medium onion, just wanna dice it. It's nice and small. It's the huge. Michaela says the huge all the time because I say the huge. So now whenever we're like, hey, where do you wanna go for lunch? Or what do you wanna have for dinner? The huge. Set them aside for a sec and dice up your mushrooms. There's a half a pound of mushrooms, which you already saw me clean. Look at this, I have a good trick. Jesse taught me this trick. My fantabulous producer. First, I'm gonna slice them and then I will dice them. Line them all up and then just start slicing and you just slice right down the line. I was a skeptic about this in the beginning. The first time I did it, I was like, this isn't gonna do anything, but it actually does save time. You're gonna have to go back in and cut across them. And since it's for a filling, it doesn't really matter if they're too perfect. So. This is an excellent method. Try it one time. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Kind of like that tomato slicing trick. I'm excited when I find a new trick, aren't you? You should be. Over here, I'm gonna make my filling. So heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a saucepan. As you can see today, we're using an induction burner because our gas burners are not working thanks to Hurricane Sandy. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> I just like to add my onions just a little bit before I add my mushrooms, just to soften a tiny bit. It's not in the recipe, so don't worry about it. And then add your mushrooms. These need to cook until the mushrooms turn a little bit golden and release some of their liquid. That'll take about eight minutes. Stir those around and then add three quarters of a teaspoon of dry thyme. And you wanna cook that until the mushrooms soften and turn a little bit golden. They're also gonna release some of their liquid. That should take about eight minutes. Approx. <laughs> the huge approx. You know, use abbreviations in language whenever you can. <laughs> Save so much time. LOL. <laughs> now it's time to add your rice, because this is a rice and mushroom filling. Add a cup of long grain white rice. Give it a stir, a rooney. Give it a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt, pepper. Stir that around and then add your stock. Veg stock, obviously, if you want this to be vegetarian. If you're not vegetarian and you're not worried about it, chicken stock is also delicious. Bring it to a boil, cover it, and cook it until all the liquid absorbs. About 20 minutes. All right, I think it's ready. Yes, all the liquid is absorbed. I think my squash is ready too, so I'm just gonna turn this off, let it sit. All right. Take these guys out of the oven and then put the broiler on. You're gonna need it in a little while. So you might as well get it hot now while you fill these guys up. Okay. Put these guys down, uncover them. You're not gonna need the foil again. And then just carefully flip them over. They're gonna be a little bit hot right now. So if you don't have Teflon fingers, you might wanna use a towel or something. Then take your squash and scoop out about a couple tablespoons of the flesh from each one and just add that to the rice mixture. And leave a nice sturdy shell, but you wanna have some of that squash in the filling. And do the same thing with all four halves. Now you just stir that all together and you have your filling ready. You can taste it and adjust for seasoning. You might need a little bit more salt. Be careful though, because you are gonna be sprinkling cheese on the top and that adds saltiness. Then just take your filling and mound it into your acorn squash shells. And don't worry, it's not gonna fall all over the place. It'll stick together nicely. So you can mound it up over the top and make really nice, hearty servings. I'm getting excited right now. Are you getting excited right now? 
Maybe not, because cooked mushrooms and rice is not the most beautiful thing, but I can tell you that it tastes delicious. It's super aromatic and like late fall, early wintery. People are gonna wanna gobble it up, so don't be shy. Then sprinkle each one with about two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, total of a half a cup. And then that preheated broiler is gonna make these all brown and bubbly and delicious. Nice, generous serving of cheese on each one. And then they just go under the broiler for a couple minutes just until they're golden brown and bubbling. If by chance you've let these sit around till the filling got cool, you can put them in a 350 degree oven until they're heated through, then under the broiler. Let's go. Ooh. Ah, I'm having issues. Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice and golden brown, a little bit of brown, a little bubbling. Ready to eat. What do you think? Do you want to eat one? Because I'm going to have some right now. Serve yourself up one. I don't think you'll be able to eat more. Make yourself a nice crisp salad and you have a fantastic meal. And even the non-vegetarians will be clamoring for more. And you can make these ahead. Put them in the fridge, reheat them in the oven. 350, uncover, broiled, done. Everyone will be happy. I guarantee. <laughs> oh, I miss that guy.